In this video, I will show you how to assess the pages on the website in order to determine which pages require further attention and improvements. So once you're uh, logged into analytics, if you click on behavior here and then click site content, and then you can click all pages. So here you can see uh, we've selected three months, April to June. I think three months is a good date range, although you can select more or less. But uh, when you select one month, there could be outliers. When you select three months, it's a pretty, um, pretty good range to look at. So here we can see the list of pages, and you can expand it down here. And here are very important metrics that we want to look at. So we have bounce rate, exit rate, uh, and we have a video about the difference between um, bounce rates or exit rates, but in a nutshell, a bounce rate is when somebody lands on this, comes to this page, they don't go to any other page, right? An exit rate, they might have been on some other pages, but this is the page they exited from. So go ahead and watch that video. Um, but what we're looking at here is average time on page. So we're trying to see which pages, you know, stand out. So you can look at this page, 26 seconds. Now, looking at this data by itself will not give you the complete picture. So you do want to look at bounce rate and exit rates. So in this case, you know, we can see that the bounce rate is uh, and, and exit rate are, are pretty low. Most people do not exit from this page. They do go to other pages. So this doesn't just tell us that, you know, this page, there's something wrong with the content. Although, of course, we want to look at it. And so if we go. So if we go to that page, we can have a look at the page. And of course, we want to assess it from. You know how it looks. You can see the page is kind of all over the place. Um, it doesn't look very modern. And you can contrast that to, for example, the upholstery page, which has been uh, slightly modernized. And um, you can see how that looks. So it is, it is nicer in a sense. It looks uh, easier to digest from a conversion perspective and just from a UX perspective. So if we look at this page, you know, it is a page that we want to improve um, very low time on site. So that's not good. And that's a very quick way to have a look at some of these most important metrics, time on page, bounce and exit rates. You know, we can be looking at pages that have, uh, you can sort this by bounce rate. I mean, a lot of these pages here are, are not really telling you much, but you can see Curtin's Toronto. You know, that is pretty alarming. There's only two visits. So you want to you wanna investigate some of these pages. And if you notice anything unusual, you know, you can, you can bring this to the attention of the SEO. Um, and so, so they can investigate this and find out what is going on here. Curtin's Toronto. See if the page is indexed or cached, and it is. Let's see if this page is anywhere else. So it's just Curtin's Toronto. So you can see here we have uh, this page. I'm not sure why it's showing uh, twice. It's pretty strange. I mean, okay, so I can see why this one doesn't have a forward slash and this one does. So that's an important thing to to notice here. And this is more of an, an SEO issue. So if we come here and we type in Curtin's Toronto and we have Curtin's Toronto with a slash, you can see those are actually in Google's eyes, two different pages. So we need to 301 redirect this page to um, to this page, right? Which is the main page here. So this is an SEO thing. Uh, we, need, we need to have a canonical tag on the one without the forward slash to say that this is the main page. So um, that's outside the scope of this particular video. But uh, you can see, you know, we are looking at bounce rates and we're trying to identify s here some of these, you know, uh, important pages. And you can see here we have that issue with, you know, you have employment and employment with the forward slash and the canonical the canonical issue has not been resolved so i just found this out right now by by doing this video and i think it's it's good to keep it in here so you're aware of what's going on here when you're reading these reports 
Um, let's see here, marine carpets. So we're gonna have to clean this up from a, from a canonical perspective. But we're essentially looking at, you know, some of these highest bounce rates, even blogs, you know, if we see that the blogs have, you know, very low time on site. Vinyl fabrics, but once again, this is uh, these are all duplicates. So this is this it, it, this is an uh, an important SEO issue that needs to be addressed. Vertical shades, you know, seventy percent bounce rate. That's pretty high. Um, has a pretty good time on site, but still, you know, it can be improved, right? So if we just copy this and have a look at it. Our goal here is to analyze the page and see, you know, like, can this page be improved? And of course it could, you know, from a design perspective, it looks very outdated. You can see this top section looks really poor. So even the images, you know, and um, th there's a separate training for this with regards to design, how things should look. And this is definitely outdated, right? And needs to be improved. Like you can see here, these are all the same images. So it just looks really bad. So this is definitely a page we need to, we need to look at. So these are just a few examples and you can um, you can go through this list and you'll find a lot of a lot of pages that can be improved and one of the best ways to analyze them is to actually look at the page uh, we also install heat map tracking for clients and there's a separate video for this where we um, actually see user behavior and see how long they're interacting and what they're clicking on right so this is also important data to look at there you have it, and that sums up this video.